Hey, what's up everybody? This is BSO, Boat Spinning Lizard back once again. Welcome to the next part of Let's Play Fantasy Star Universe. Now let's run forward and head to the next area. Block 84. We are on new days. It looks like we got ourselves a little mini cutscene. Not a talking cutscene, unfortunately. Ow. <laughs> but in the end, it was a cast. Huh? Wait, did, did I miss something? That assassin. Who would try something like that? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty diverse. It's not strange for those... for there to be inner disputes. What's that? Um, what's... oh. Speaking of Tenga, that's one kind of go. A Tenga. Uh, they're pretty ferocious, so be careful. Uh, <sighs> oh. They fell up. Karen! I'll take care of Karen. You two take care of the Ten Dog. Got it. Of course. You're just gonna leave us to deal with the big scary Ten Dog. Luckily, they're not that difficult. You just fuck a rising strike the hell out of them. Take me back. They typically will. They really can't. They can't get to you unless. If you stand behind them like that, so they're pretty easy to take out. What the? What in the world? Is, is that the maiden? And I think that's. I, I think that was a ten dog. Well, that was interesting. Looks like we know a little bit more about Karen now. Karen! 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 Eyes. Karen, are you alright? I'm sorry. I got woozy for a second. Maybe we should stop for a while until. No, I'm fine, really. Let's get moving. Karen? We get her name. Is Karen. So you say a hundred thousand times. Dude. Karen, are you alright? Mm-mm, <laughs> mm-mm, I'm not a... I'm getting sick of everyone always asking if I'm alright. Wow, you bitch. What's wrong? I did say I was worried about it. It's dangerous to go alone, Karen. Take this! Gives him a sword. Gives her a sword. <laughs> yeah, that Karen. Maya, what exactly happened to Karen? Karen left home to join the Guardians. Until now, the only time she set foot on New Day since that time was when my mother passed away. She collapsed then, just like today. That's why I worried about her so much. For Karen, New Day's and these Wood are places she just as well not remember. But just a while ago, the two of you were laughing it up. I've never seen Karen that happy before. It's like she always forces herself to be emotionless and stern. She's always cool and professional. But she, whether she's yelling at us or facing down an AMF officer, Maya, you're the only one she'll show her true face to. In the Guardians, you won't make it if you don't learn how to bomb it. I can't tell who's supposed to be talking right now, to be honest. I know the quotes seem to be on Ethan, but I, I, I'm confused. Karen didn't come here because she didn't want her heart to burst. You're a nice guy, Ethan. I like nice guys. Oh, uh-huh. Where did that come from? But you've got a thing for Karen, don't you? What? Well, where did you get a curate the idea like that? Don't try to hide it from me. Women are very intuitive. You're worried about her, aren't you? That's... That's because she's my instructor, obviously. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You're so easy. I you uh. Ethan, look after my little sister, okay? She always pushes herself too hard. I worry about her. <sighs> of course. What are you doing, Ethan? Let's go. I'm on my way. We're wrong. And now we're in Block B. Oh. Wait a minute. It's Kurtz. 
You remember Fuyan Kurt from Parum, right? Oh, it's you again. We won't interfere with Allied affairs. We are just simply trying to get to the shuttle crash site. I heard about the incident. The Maiden was aboard the craft. It's foolish of her to be prancing around from city to city during such dangerous times. What are you talking about? It's exactly because of these times that the people need her more than ever. <laughs> so, you can't live without your precious little maiden. You humans are weaker than I thought. Oh, and you think being a government puppet is any better? Do you know who you... Ethan, stop it. I apologize. We simply wish to pass. Permission denied. This location is to be purified immediately. More and more this purification crap. Isn't there anything? I said no. Wow, you're from the Allied Army? I've never seen one of you guys uh, up close before. You're <laughs> even cuter than I imagined. And I bet that armor is a specially prepared alloy. Well, yes, it is a... And uh, listen to that <laughs> voice. Uh, look, I have things to do. I really don't think you want the death of the Divine Maiden on your shoulders, now do you? So, you'll help us, right? I... I suppose it can't hurt to wait. <laughs> but take too long and I'll purify this place with you in it! Oh well, thanks! You're the best! Okay, let's get moving! I'm sure they're all like... Thank you, Captain, what? sir. See you around! See you around... That delayed subtitle. <laughs> that was hilarious. Thanks a lot. Maya, Maya. I just noticed you. Even though I just noticed you're a little bit slow well, out of all of us, but still, time to show. For the record, everybody, I am not German. I just know how to speak a little German. Whoa, this place sure got a change. Don't tell me this place has been purified as well. Oh, yeah, it's the ice climbers. Yeah. Whoa. Ew. Got real got real cold real fast for some reason. It's the ice contamination. It looks like Kurt's information was correct. Well, it's no use. We left in such a rush and we're not prepared for this contingency. If only we use a photon eraser, well then I brought mine. Plus, we can save the Zomo without using goggles. We don't even have to search. And it's not that easy. Nope. No, we can't use the photon eraser to purify an ice type seed contamination. Why not? To deal with an ice contamination, we would need a photon reflector. And let me get she has them. Don't worry, Karen. I figured something like this might happen, so I brought some photon reflectors. Being a part of a research and development team isn't all for show, you know. Nice job, huh? Well then, why don't you explain to them how it's done? I'd be honored to. Now listen closely, you two. First of all, a photon reflector. And that's how you do it. Here you go. Take good care of it. Now explain how to use this thing. I already know how to do it. I'm not even gonna explain. You'll see it when you'll see it when I do it. If you don't understand, I'll show you again as many times as it takes. First off, purify the seat for it in front of you. Go to a photon inspector. I think I have to equip it. I don't know how to do this. Yeah. Did it all be used to the time eraser? Okay. Maybe I don't remember how to do this. Yeah, I've done... Yeah, I walked right into that project. Okay, maybe I don't remember how to do this. Um... Oh, so I could stand on the photon spot. 
Strange Burn with the Rick Glow. that a couple times throughout this place. And the timer has started. Now we've got ice enemies, so let's pull out the sword. So yeah, these are all go bonds. You have to be confused with going on. They are ice and beware, these are ice enemies that cast Barda. So do be careful of them. And then we got the ice version of the Goshens who also cast Barda. That's why you gotta watch out for Barda, because you can get frozen. If you jiggle the joystick or press buttons a lot, you can actually break out much faster, though. Also not the best idea to have fire-type armor here, either. Because otherwise, those ice spells will mess you up. Level R uh, for somebody. I think Hugo gets leveled up. Does it matter? We're people on a mission. Take note. Depending in front at the same time, they typically only attack the Barda once, one at a time. The Chandel Sword is leveled up to level 2. Level up for anything. 10 dogs. Ten guards don't typically attack you unless you're standing right in front of them. So, if you get behind them, they can't do anything. Then all they're gonna do is keep turning around. Otherwise, they'll do that. Run down. Go. <laughs> they both got for Drag level 17. Slow down. Now it's a tiny dog today. Keep on us coming. That's another thing you know. That's one thing you gotta watch out for with the frickin' Ice Sun Goats. Is they will cast Gibbarder, which is that which is that ice spell that they just used. My strength is all gone. Well, that's up to be you. There's another freaking ice seed. Let's take out all these enemies first before we. Dang it. Closer. There we go. 
Now this looks on a racer. You mean reflector? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know the clips on spots. Yep. Stop making me have to get so close to this thing just to scan it. Charge it up. If you step forward just slightly a little bit like I just say, you can actually scan that thing faster if you simply stay on the button. Like this. That takes care of another one. Key. Open door. Stopping video. Until next time, Blood Spinning Lizard, out.